This is my 2008 American Standard Strat. A couple of years ago I removed the, the standard pickups and replaced them with these Seymour Duncan Everything Axe set. And they sound kind of okay, but um, not totally the tone I, uh, I was after, so I've decided to replace all of them with a set of Kinman pickups. And uh, one of the reasons that I was attracted to Kinman pickups is because they, they seem to be the only pickups on sale that allow for the fact uh, that the pole spacing, where the poles aligned with the strings, actually changes as you go from there to there to there, from the neck to the middle to the bridge. And you can see that the pole alignment on these, which are the same, um, actually runs off. Can you see that? There. Yeah. So that bottom E string isn't quite aligned. The alignment isn't too bad when it gets to the, the middle pickup and uh, it goes a bit skew whiff when it gets to the bridge pickup. The Kinman pickups allow for the fact that the strings obviously starting at the nut, the string spacing is like that, but quite obviously by the time you get down to here, it's then space like that. And so Kinman pole pieces in their match sets allow for that so that the idea being that the pole pieces, uh, the strings rather, will bisect the, the centre point of each pole piece. Why is that important? Well, you could say it's not important and it's, it's all a load of mojo, but in fact um, I think it matters. I mean I play electric guitar but I play finger style in the manner of um, Mark Knopfler, Jeff Beck and uh, Albert King and a lot of others. It's just something that I migrated to more or less accidentally uh, from being a, a guitarist that uses a pick all the time. Um, and when I'm playing lead, I always find on strats particularly that I can't quite get the same volume um, out of the strings when I go on to the top two. Obviously they're thinner strings, so uh, you know, you're not going to get as much volume. But you can compensate that uh, for that by obviously changing the height of the pickups and lowering them, turning the usual little screw down here and lowering the pickup on that base side and then turning that to higher the pickup uh, on the treble side, which is what I've done to some extent. Um, but at the end of the day, these, are, these aren't these are single coil pickups. They do, uh, as you'll hear in a minute, they still sound very stratty, uh, but they are, in fact, uh, mini humbuckers. Um, so you, you, the main advantage is that you don't get the noise that you get from the induced noise that you get into standard strap pickups which a lot of people would say well it's been okay since 1954 or whenever so um, what's the matter with it but it just irritates me I mean if you can be on stage playing you just turn at the wrong angle and you'll get that 60 Hertz is it um, noise and I just prefer noiseless pickups so simple as that um, so what I was going to do was record some stuff using these existing Seymour Duncan Everything Axe pickups and pickup set uh, and then get the pickups changed by my guitar tech who lives in Stratford-on-Avon um, take it over to him tomorrow with the Kinman pickups uh, and see if we can uh, do the same, same um, comparison using the same settings so I'm not going to change any settings uh, on my amp or uh, the mic I've used which is a Rode NT2. I can put some details in the in the video in text so you know what the parameters are for the, the test really. Um, and I won't uh, touch anything uh, uh, either on the desk or in my recording software which is Sonar so that hopefully we'll get a like-for-like a, a, a -like environment where you can hear, and I can hear, <laughs> the um, differences or similarities between the Seymour Duncans 
and the new Kinmans. Uh, right, let me just put this down. Uh, these are the Kinman pickups. I ordered them from Kinman. There are one or two UK importers, but if you order them online, you get the extra ability to customise the purchase rather than just buy them straight out of the box. The main thing being you can't um, pick and choose if you buy them from online UK or German retailers. You can't pick and choose the, the colour of the, the, um, the pickup covers, which are either white or aged aged white which is what these are so let me just show you what we have in the box having already discarded the shrink wrap so there are the the Kinman pickups I don't know if you can see on there but that's the order going from neck middle and bridge so you can actually see on there how the width of the pole spacing gradually increases to compensate exactly for how the strings spa the string spacing changes on the strats. I should say I'm not the sort of person who fettles his own guitars. Um, I wouldn't dare do such a thing. I'm not uh, au fait enough. But there, there they are. So I, I've actually marked on there for my own benefit neck, middle and bridge, even though you can tell which is which by the spacing change. And you can also tell because of the particular types of pickups. There's two that are the same and uh, one that's different for the bridge. So there we are, that's my Kinman pickups. Um, we'll do some sound demonstration now of what the Strat sounds like with the Seymour Duncans um, and then uh, take the guitar over to my chap in Stratford and get them changed, probably tomorrow. So uh, then we'll, we'll pick things up um, uh, in a couple of days time. Okay. Okay, here we are, and uh, the Kinman pickups have been duly fitted by my uh, guitar tech, and uh, we're ready to do some sound comparisons. Let me just show you first the, the pickups in close up there, and you can see, as I mentioned before, the pickup pole pieces are spaced so that they gradually increase their spacing going from the neck pickup to the middle pickup to the bridge pickup. So as you can see there, I think the string alignment is, uh, is pretty well spot on. Okay, if I'm wearing this shirt, it means you're hearing Kinman pickups. And when I'm wearing this shirt and these different glasses, <laughs> you're hearing the Seymour Duncan pickups. Neck position. Neck and middle. 
middle only. Middle and bridge. Neck only. Neck and middle. Middle only.
Bridge and Lee. Hi there and welcome to the end of the video. Congratulations on getting this far. I hope the comparisons were useful. Um, they certainly were to me. Uh, I bought the Kinmans having done some research on them on the internet or as much as I could and I was particularly attracted as I said at the, the beginning of the video by the fact that uh, Mr Kinman thinks that string and pole piece alignment is important and I'm inclined to agree with him. I do find that uh, playing lead guitar as I do, without a pick, with fingers, there's a there's, there's always a sort of fall off on strats. Um, when I get to the top two strings, fall off in in volume, which I have to try and compensate for with my my playing style. Um, and if you look at strats again, like we said at the beginning of the video, that's because the the alignment between the strings and the centre of the pole pieces is, is very much a compromise because they're all the same on strats, um, whereas they widen out on the Kinmans. So that's why I went for them and I'm very pleased with the results. These, these sound great to me. Some breaking that down, I guess, the Seymour Duncans betrayed their mini humbucker origins. They, uh, what I mean by that is they do sound warmer, but I think the, there's a loss of clarity that has come with that extra warmth. They still sound stratty, uh, that's uh, undeniable, so they're good in that respect. But the Kinmans to me had better clarity and more separation in, in terms of being able to hear each string within a chord. So the Kinmans sounded more open and had a, a broader sonic palette, if I can say that without sounding too pretentious. That for me made the Kinmans sound like they'd got more, a bit more body, a bit more character to them. And conversely, the Seymour Duncans, by comparison, sounded a little bland. Anyway, uh, that's it. Um, two good sets of pickups. And as I said, I hope it's been useful to you, uh, as it has been to me, to compare them like this. So tell me down below in the comments section what you think, which I'm sure some of you will. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on uh, my next video. Bye for now.